Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell, bell notification, notification as well. And don't forget to support me on Patreon. You can find the link down on the video description down below to that because I've finally got that all fully lived as well. So don't forget to check those out. And you can find the link to my Patreon down in the video description down below as well. But without further ado, let's crack up down onto the intro. Intro and and let's hit on to the review, shall we? Hey guys, episode 32 has landed of Digimon Adventure 2020, episode 32, titled Soaring Hope. And it was a very fun episode, a little bit more interesting as well definitely with the unique take it went with the evolutions this time around the episode opens up with takaru and patamon running away from a digimon known as fangmon who was who's a champion and and they started to lose breath and everything because they were continuously running across the meadow meadow or fields uh away from this fangmon when so maybe the komon 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 showed up and uh sora picked him up via via her hand through the fur fur and they were running away while the uh fangmon still chases after them uh bergeron and greymon can uh attack them while patamon tried to rest up during this patamon uh ended up having an inner mind speak talking with lotmon raising up and uh we saw the different evolutions and Stuff like that, uh, showing up to the point where we see that Sephiramon, then Magna Angemon, then Angemon, and then back to Patamon, and we just get the whole, you need to create a new path of hope and everything like that, from Lotmon to Patamon, and stuff like that. During this, the uh, Digimon known as Cerberusmon shows up and starts attacking the, uh, the, cho uh, the kids. And pretty much, he's the big boss that controls Fangmon. With this, Fangmon surrounds Greymon and Garudamon, or mainly Metal Greymon and Garudamon, and they attack those, while two Fangmon end up appearing on Kodovamon, and Patamon then digivolves into Pegasusmon. And that's the weird thing. This is the first time that I've noticed or in this universe that, uh, or in this instance that Patamon didn't use a Digi-Armor Digivolution sequence or whatever. There was no Digi-Armor evolution this time around. He just Digivolved into Pegasusmon. It's a similar way that Skull Nightmon just Digivolves into Dark Nightmon. Uh, whereas in Crosswords that was a, 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 cro a Digi-Cross or a digi fuse fuse in that series and in this one it's just an evolution so in this universe even armor digivolutions don't exist in this timeline or in this universe of digimon adventure and it just became a branch evolution but other than that pegasus mon ends up helping to defeat cerberus mon and and then obviously garudamon and Ooh. Ends up finishing off as well. But other than that, this episode was really fun. I liked the whole aspect of t uh, of of um, of Lotmon and Pamon, two holy Digimon speaking with each other and uh, and discussing and uh, Lotmon helping to heal Patamon through what what he's been through uh, up to this point. And it was really nice to see that. Uh, the animation was really nicely done as well. And it's just been a fun ride all along with this episode. And I really can't wait for whatever comes next. Next, next week we're going to finally see what's going to happen with Hikari because by the looks of things, Hikari is going to be swallowed up by darkness. So the whole dark ocean type element is there, but different at the same time, uh, with a different twist this time. What I think is very nice because Hikari always has that. Uh, thing with the dark ocean or the darkness anyway but yet she's got the crest of light so 
So hopefully that hopefully this is going to lead up to her finding Tailmon and then activating her Crest of Light to make her Digivolve into Anchi Woman. But uh, but I digress, and that's just speculation. But hope but the linking to darkness with Hikari is very is a very nice touch for next with the episode preview that I saw at the end of this episode. But it was a very fun episode overall. It was very enjoyable, very action heavy. What I love about that was definitely action heavy. I really did like that moment, and I do love that they have some transport. Now, we did get to hear some little fun bits with, like, uh, Mimi and uh, Togemon fighting a Golemon, but for fun, we saw, uh, we got uh, Koshiro speaking about the ISS and some fake news about what's happening with that while he was in the whole, like, scrapyard area of the continent they're on, and Joe's got captured by a bo Blossommon. So that that's what's been happening with those sides, and Yamato is still running across. Probably, hopefully, going to meet up with them at some point later on in the in this arc. But that is pretty much the case of this episode. It was a very fun episode and everything like that. And it's nice to see that it's going up and and going in the way I was hoping it goes. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. In the foreseeable future. But other than that, comment down below what you liked and didn't like about this episode. And and I'll see you next week. Bye bye for now. See ya. Another fun episode. Again, guys, I really did enjoy it this time. Don't forget, you can check out my affiliate links down below. Definitely my Patreon. I've actually sorted that out and it's actually now fully live. So you can check those out. Check the tiers to her and everything. Support the channel the best way you can. And everything like that. But check those out as well. And don't forget to check my, out my previous videos. And don't forget to, to uh, hit that subscribe button. To, and press all the bell notification. Click all to keep up to date with all my videos. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. It probably will be popping up in the wrong order. But I digress. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya.